Hey guys, it's Don Asti Elper here, and I know I have not made a video in a very long time. I apologize a lot about that, but uh, yeah, I got a recent comment on that uh, auto tune video uh, saying, "Oh, you should make more videos. You're pretty good at this." And uh, yes, I have been mixing audio since fifth grade. I appreciate that, but uh, I have not made a video recently. I'm training for three different sports right now, and it's <laughs> takes up a lot of my time. But I'll just throw one together real quick for you guys. Uh, right now, you need to be. I'm going to show you. Since uh, this has been a main problem for me, since I do a lot of voiceovers for the uh, high school and middle school broadcast classes where they have to do voiceovers for like their uh, their videos and stuff, I'll help them do those. And uh, what I realized about halfway through the year is uh, after I went on spring break, I get back and I'm like, oh crap, I lost my wind buffer. So I do not have, I currently do not have a wind buffer. I don't know if you can tell or not right now, but. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna teach you how to manually remove wind sound from like from like P's and S's and T's and stuff like that. So uh, basically, you're gonna have your voice over here. You're gonna zoom in some, and on each one of these, you're gonna go. First of all, let's normalize this. Okay, let's just go to zero. Okay, then it's gonna do this. Let's. It'll bring it so you can uh, do this easier. You're gonna click on this envelope tool here. And it's gonna be uh let's bring this down a little bit. So basically you're just cutting it around it and then making another one right next to it, dragging it close and then bringing it back up to where it was. So it's kind of like manually normalizing something, except in just an individual spot. So it's not super like this. So you're basically going to do that throughout the whole thing. And then you can click on these if you really want to make it tiny. But then you can go back out here, make those big again. And you basically want the ones on the outside of the ones that are on the inside that are bringing it down. You want to make the ones on the outside all about the same, like, uh, how am I trying to say this? Same level. So, uh, it sounds the same, so it doesn't fluctuate in the volume wise. In volume wise, that I don't know if that made sense or not, but I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so then you do that throughout the whole thing. This is just a really, really short voiceover. It's just me saying like, "Hey, it's Audacity Helper." Anyway, so uh, let's hear how that sounded. This is Audacity Helper here, helping you make a new video right now. That did not sound that great, since I seriously threw this together in two seconds. You watched me. Uh, let's bring that down a little more. Let's bring this down a little more. As well for this. It's a little loud for my liking. But basically, mess around with the envelope tool around where those these high spots are in the frequency-wise area. And uh, just make sure you're not doing the whole thing like this because that'll make the whole thing silent. And there you go. That's how you remove wind buffer manually. 